Hello world, lockpicking dev here. Today I have a Yale 2100. It is a dimple and slider padlock. I've been on a little slider spree uh, re uh, lately and they've been uh, quite a bit of fun. This one picks quite similarly to the Malenko Magnum. A little bit of click on two there. Three. Four. One still springy. Five. Six. Two is super low. I think one might be ready. Just give me an angle right here. There you go. Yep. Had too much tension on, so that was one. Still a little bit off there. Let's go back there and check those again. I think it might be time for the sliders. Go five. Three looks like it might be pretty high. I want to make sure I'm hitting it and not the warding. Oh, there's four, and there's our open. So it looks like our sliders they hit in the process of picking, and um, you know that's not too surprising. So if we're going up the side here. We are picking this way. Our sliders right here are underneath. So our pick is going up the side right here. So literally as we're picking, our bar itself pretty much puts sliders in place. And the further we go back, the further it tends to be off and more crooked. So we probably just, yeah, rake them right in while we're picking. Anyways, let's zoom out here. Oops. Move all of our stuff to the side. 
and since uh, I do have it picked, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back. That way it's easier for me to pull the C-clip off. So, honestly, I just can't stand it. Holy shit, this one is, excuse me, this one is almost a full O-clip, and I don't see this that often. I should remain that there's only that little gap right there. This is why I need more C-clips because this one's just going to get torn off. It's probably not going to fit back on. Yada yada. Whatever. Okay, so it should stop right there. There's not wanting to catch him though. Wording there. So. Okay, so then we will try the old school. I may have to forward this part up, but I will keep rolling. Or speed this part up anyway. I do have a pair of um, that's in that box. The camera's in the way. Yeah, I can't even get my finger in there to Still, while I pull it this way. There we go. Alright. Yeah, I knew this one's going to be a pain in the butt. Ugh. There we go. Get my side of the way so we got some room here. And. Pull this out of the way. Go. There you go. Yep, it's uh feels just uh oh. very similar to uh Malico Magnum. So here we go, we'll do key pins. Six key pins and our whoops, <laughs> they are all not um, gated, so we'll figure out. The, I'll figure out the order when we put it back in there, so it doesn't really matter if they came out the wrong way. I'm gonna put this inside of here for the moment so that the sidebar here does not <coughs> fly out on me. And that way I can repin it easier later. And then for our driver pins. Ooh. Awesome. This is a step up from the or maybe a step up from like a Magnum. I only have one that doesn't have a key that I gutted. Get this back in here. Here, there we go, and say slightly a step up, just because it has the one double spool right there. So here we go. Here you can see our sliders up here, no gates. Down here, all of our key pins are um, slightly thinner on the bottom, so if you overlift them, they get stuck in an overlift position there. See what I mean down there, and our driver pins are mostly standard one double spool and one um, it looks like uh, 
almost like a very thin lip spool, but not quite. But yeah, uh, I forget what the um, a term for this one is. If you remember, let everyone know below for me. <laughs> Anyways, this was a um, Yale 2100. Here's our bedding. And uh, I definitely recommend picking one of these up. This feels a uh, really good, a really good pick. And it's, um, I think the key is uh, more intimidating than anything. Anyways, thanks for watching.